Murray. Cindy Murray. So I Murray. guarantee a whole lot of things that go on there, a lot of other associated stuff. Yeah, Murray. <laughs> Last time we came to Bentonville, we came as individuals concerned about the problems facing associates in our stores, concerned about not being listened to, concerned about being disrespected. Through our efforts during those two days in June, we all together created the Our Walmart Declaration for respect. We went directly to home office to be heard, committed to one another to do the following, growing our organization, taking action, and telling our stories across the United States. When I came back from Bentonville, Arkansas, our store manager called each and one of us. There was three of us that came from my store. He called us individually into his office and asked how he could help us change our Walmart. So he came from Kmart, which you know he didn't know too much of nothing. <laughs> so I told him a little bit about who our Walmart associates are. And we all know that we had different things that Walmart gave us and did for us that made it worth our while being in that company and made it a good company. Well, recently, you know, they took mostly everything away from us. Mm -hmm. Amen to that? Amen. So, in our talks, I told them about the fact of our pens. That Miss Walton gave us three pens. And in those pens, we could turn back in if we got three of them, we got to share a stock. So what he did was, a week or so later, he went into our personnel office and he took our personnel directors bag of pens that she held dearly that we had to pay for. Yep. He took them to the floor and he gave them to us associates. And he was like, here, this is just a gesture. So it goes to show you, they're listening to us and they are hearing us. This is your I've been here a while and I have to say thank you to a lot of our organizations, UFCW, and the people that work with us for our campaign. Yeah. Can I hear a round of